Hi everyone, it's your favorite policy and research analyst, Hannah Williams from Mississippi Votes, and welcome back to our channel. Now today we're gonna do a little bit more deep diving into this whole entire rights restoration thing, what it means, what it means for us, what we can do to change it, and what other states are doing to um, add to the conversation or successes they have had in changing some of their rights restoration um, work or framework or laws. So, if you have not <laughs> watched any of the other videos, I'm just gonna bring you up to a little bit of speed about you know what rights restoration even means. So in Mississippi, we have 23 disenfranchising crimes that will keep you from voting even after you have done your time, completed your parole, your, pro your probation, your programs, or whatever. Um, you do still do not gain your right to vote back. Mississippi is one of these places that permanently disenfranchises voters. Unless, and there are three ways you can get your right to vote back here in Mississippi. One of those I've, I have mentioned already, and that is to get a full pardon by the governor. And you know, presidents pardon people all the time, but governors in conservative states like Mississippi, not so much. We don't we don't really do a lot of pardons over here. Um, anytime you even hear the word pardon, it makes like national news if it's coming out of Mississippi because that's how often we don't pardon people. <laughs> um, the second thing that you can do is uh, basically apply to get your civil rights back and the governor signs off on it. So it's by executive order basically and it's kind of like a pardon again. And the third way is by the Mississippi legislature just changing their mind and maybe voting on something that could potentially help people get their rights restored. So um, with that being said, those are the three ways that you can potentially get your rights restored here in Mississippi. And none of those ways are really like, you know, like our legislature is kind of known to vote down progressive things and relying on the governors here to pardon you is you just gonna be waiting but there are some states down here in the south which is tradition has traditionally been a conservative region if you know anything about the united states the south is a very conservative place honey like we will we'll just pray for you um some other states have had some progressive turnout in terms of rights restoration and things that they have done to help fix that so we're just gonna um go over like florida and louisiana and basically just see what the process is to have your rights restored in those places so in florida um their voter disenfranchisement covers all persons who are currently serving time on parole or um, on probation and there are only two crimes I believe that permanently disenfranchise you from voting and those are murder and sexual assault so Florida is one of those states where they are a very transparent state um, with their residents so basically any, any and everything that happens in Florida regarding the government the people of the state get to see and I think that's very cool but in amendment 4 in their constitution it basically says that um, to have your rights restored you have to um, finish your parole or probation programs and boom that's it I don't believe there is a waiting period in that term or in that clause as well the second way you can do it is apply for clemency between five and seven years um and that is up to the person also all legal fees and everything has to be paid i know a lot of people may not know or some people may know but when you're on probation you have to pay some fees which is why like they push you getting a job so hard once you first come out because you have to pay your fees or consequences right so once you pay all of your legal fees there's no waiting period you just take your documentation down to where it needs to go and boom you get your rights restored now in louisiana there is a waiting period um for all persons and their disenfranchisement covers all persons convicted of a felony in prison serving parole and serving probation now you will, once you complete your five year probation and parole programs, you pretty much get your rights restored. Like that's it. Um, there is no really formal process to it. Um, like in Mississippi, how you have to go through all these steps for the one way that you can do it on your own. 
um you, that's just pretty much it now you're you're <laughs> you get to participate in politics again all you have to do again is just take your documentation where it needs to go and boom everything is restored and you're fine there's outside of that five-year waiting pro um outside of that five-year completion time for your programs you're good to go now <laughs> With that being said, here in Mississippi, we recognize that we have some barriers in the way of regular, regular, everyday folk doing what they need to do to be able to basically restore their rights in a way that isn't going to take going to the governor um, or going to the Mississippi legislature, okay? Now, these things were not things that just happened overnight in these states. These things um, were essentially ballot initiatives um, and there are actually a lot of other places who have had success with ballot initiatives and success with things being produced and voted on by the legislature. And for those who don't know, a ballot initiative is something that the people put together um, and then bring to the state and essentially at the next big statewide election, it's voted on. The people basically directly get to choose if this is something that they want to participate in or not or have this made into law or not. Ballot initiatives in Mississippi take an extremely large amount of hard work to complete and they also take some time to um, come to the point where it can be voted on by the people. Um, so with that being said, we want to hear from you guys. We will be leaving the link to our public opinion survey down below and please let us know if you know if this is something you're interested in, how you feel about rights restoration in general, how you feel about disenfranchising crimes, please make sure you stop down below and fill it out because we would appreciate it so, so much. And make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Hit the notification bell so you'll be notified every time we post a video on this channel. We generally like really like hearing from you guys okay and we would love it if you know you guys to stay up to date with the information that we're putting out you can follow us on all forms of social media at ms votes um that's at ms votes that's twitter tiktok instagram <laughs> um all of those places and on facebook we are at mississippi votes all spelled out so please stop by leave a like a comment whatever we're here for you we love interacting with the people that interact with us or people that want to know stuff so yeah and i will see you guys in the next one